Okay, so this evening we are talking about Sierra Nevada's Torpedo Extra IPA. And I have some uh, details up here. The alcohol content of this brew is 7.2% by volume. The beginning gravity is 17.8 Plato. The ending gravity is 4.6 Plato. IBU or bitterness units is 70. That's a surprising number. I expected to be a little bit higher. Uh, the malts used are two row pale and carapils and crystal. Uh, the yeast is ale yeast. The bittering hops are magnum hops. The finishing hops are magnum and crystal hops. And for dry hopping, they used magnum, crystal, and citra. So, let's take a look at the label. Like many Sierra Nevadas, they're they're not breaking uh, with their brand at all. Definitely, this looks like many of their other brews uh, from a branding perspective, and it's it's classy. Uh, it is certainly not trying to be humorous or funny. We can see if we get right in on there that um, they're focusing on hops, and I think they do a pretty good job of their branding. I thought Torpedo, when I first heard about it, I was really excited. And um, I, I think that uh, this is one of those ways that Sierra Nevada is really speaking to people who uh, really want that extra bitterness that isn't present in their uh, pale ale. And uh, I, I love this brew. I think it's highly affordable, highly available, and um, I hope that it ends up everywhere. Um, BK Jones, who joins me very often on my uh, video broadcasts, is asking, what's my basis for comparison on the IBU? 70 is fairly high. I'm looking at um, IBUs on some DI DIPAs that uh, go into the 90s and, and uh, 80s. So, 40 seems to me to be pretty uh, lower average, you know, like a, a Pilsner might have a 44 IBU rating. Uh, 70 is definitely high, and you can taste that bitterness. I've already uh, actually tasted a Torpedo tonight, and the bitterness is still on my tongue. Um, yeah, the, the I had a Pils last night. Let me... Uh, here, right here. Here is a Pilsner I had last night, IBU rating of 44. Uh, this is Sly Fox's Pikeland Pills. And delicious, surprisingly uh, bitter, in fact. So, yep. Uh, but this one is 70. Definitely, definitely um, more bitter than that Pills. And a beautiful Pills it was. So, let's go ahead and open it up. I'm going to uh, pour into a tulip, because this is indeed an IPA, and tulips are appropriate for the style. You can see I have some lacing from the last tor torpedo I, I uh, poured, uh, but I just don't have a sink up here in the studio, so you'll have to excuse my lack of washing. Um, I'm doing sort of a quick pour because as I was pouring this last night, I noticed uh, in the glass that I was using, which was a Pilsner glass as opposed to a tulip, there was a rushing effect <coughs> that happens sometimes. Like you, they, Guinness actually shows it on their commercials, that sort of rushing effect of the bubbles uh, traveling upward. And uh, I was getting that last night with the torpedo in the in a uh, Pilsner glass, a, a and I thought it was kind of strange, so I did a little bit of a quick pour tonight to see if the same thing would happen. It did not. But nice, tight bubbles. A beautiful, deep amber body. And um, very clear, as Brian actually mentions in our uh, chat, that clarity... Uh, is despite the fact that it's bottle conditioned. And at the end, 
there is a little bit of uh, sediment that sometimes makes it a little bit hazy, but um, for the most part, it's a very clear brew. Okay. So, the torpedo has a delicious aroma. It's it's very very nice and it's definitely about citrus, a little bit about pine. There are other IPAs that are much more about pine resin and tar. This is very floral, definitely um, definitely pleasant. I mean the, the scent is almost perfumey and I'm not a big fan of perfume but uh, in a beer it's it's not a bad effect very nice I mean oranges grapefruit uh, pink grapefruit there's a sweetness that's coming across That bitterness snaps on you right away. I mean, you can taste that bitterness immediately. It's very crisp, um, and the the it's definitely not cloying, not sweet, really at all. Uh, but there is a, a sort of syrupy undertone that uh, comes in towards the middle, and the finish is all about hops. It's definitely um, about this bitter finish. The flavor is not complex. It's 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 not one note, but it's not very layered. It's not like we're um, enjoying a Belgian or anything. But um, it is delicious. I mean, it's definitely something that uh, makes you want to take another sip very quickly. Very much uh, like other IPAs. Uh, but the fact that this is so affordable it's about seven or seven and a half per six uh, and so widely available the fact that I could go to a bar that uh, probably only has macros there and have a chance of getting this beer I'm very excited about that prospect and I love that Sierra Nevada is making so many people aware of flavors like this um, in their stouts in their pale ale and um, Definitely in the torpedo, they are going the extra mile with their hops. Um, what hops are they using? They are using uh, for bittering magnum, for finishing magnum and crystal, and for dry hopping, they're using magnum, crystal, and citra. Uh, and uh, there is definitely investment uh, going on in the hops, the uh, hop signature flavors in this brew. It is delicious. I would love to pair it with some nice spicy uh, Indian food or uh, Mexican I think that uh, as, a, as a cuisine would work really well with this. Uh, especially something like uh, refried beans because this would cut right through that sort of thickness and uh, cheese would be a really nice way to pair it. It's delicious. It's really, really good. Not sweet at all. Very much about bitterness. I would say it's unbalanced, in fact. But um, that doesn't bother me in this case. Not at all. So, thank you for joining me tonight, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Hey, um, just a final last pitch. If you're using Twitter and you like beer, please visit us uh, on Thursday... March 26th, 2009, at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time uh, on Twitter. TwitterTasteLive.com is another way that you can sort of uh, get involved. But we're having a tasting event where we're going to be tasting brews from Magic Hat, uh, specifically brews that are packaged in a variety pack uh, that they are calling their spring variety pack. It, it's out right now. It's on shelves. Uh, it's about $14 for a 12-pack, and they're really interesting brews. We're going to celebrate them tomorrow, 8 p.m., and thanks as always for visiting. Talk to you again real soon.